Welcome to the channel. How are you guys doing? Thanks so much for being here. Uh, I do appreciate you guys being here. Boy, oh boy, am I excited to actually show you guys this off. <laughs> I spent over uh, a week uh, actually uh, designing and pretty much uh, doing a little bit of coding and uh, to get this mission to work exactly as I wanted uh, and uh, getting the, uh, more importantly the AI to act uh, how I wanted them to. So here you guys see we're actually hopping in here into the helicopter as we're getting ready for our mission. You guys do see the first helicopter taking off there, the second one taking off there, and then there's the third and will be the last helicopter to take off. Look at this beautiful scenery. So right now Ukraine is taking off to uh, cross the Dnipro River to uh, do a sneaky air assault mission where they're going to land in the northern part of the city uh, to basically cause havoc and uh, infiltrate the city from the northern side. There's going to be a lot of things happening in this mission. Uh, there's a lot of moving pieces uh, and you guys will get to see that in a second. I wanted to show you this off uh, so you guys understand the mission. Uh, right now, this is the town that Russia occupies. Ukraine is going to be coming from the southern side of the Dnipro, and they're going to be crossing it uh, from the islands that they have uh, in control. And they're going to be crossing it to uh, take control of this town so that they can uh, actually do a much, much larger um, river crossing so that they can start their actual counteroffensive. So we're actually going to take a look here. There's a major uh, railroad that comes through here, so Ukrainians are going to basically come here and cut off uh, that supply road there. They're also going to come on the eastern side here as well and cut off supplies here as well. And you see major roads as well as another major railroad here. These helicopters that are currently traveling right now are going to be landing here. Uh, once they land here, uh, they will have a few infantry fighting vehicles with them. Uh, and they'll essentially come down here, call in artillery support on enemy positions on the outskirts of the town. Uh, continue to make their way down here, cut off any kind of uh, outer defenses that the Russians have, like you guys are seeing some comms here, uh, and more defensive buildings here, so they're going to pretty much take all of that out as they uh, come from the northern side into the city here. Now, at, at the same time, what's going to be happening is the very first thing that's going to hit the city is actually the Ukrainian Air Force. They're going to be trying to do seed missions and suppress any anti-air in the city, so they're going to be doing that. Uh, the Mi-24 helicopters that you guys did see uh, are also going to be doing an attack run into the city. So pretty much overwhelming air power is going to be coming in there. There's going to be casualties on the Ukrainian side for sure. Uh, but the whole point is just to take out the Russian anti-air. Now at the same time as that's happening, we do know that there's one Russian Tunguska system somewhere here on this little island. Well, it's not really an island, but it's a, a dock that the Russians have secured. Uh, Ukrainians will be coming here with boats uh, to infiltrate this position uh, and also try to take control of this sector here. So I've, you guys just see in large, there's a lot of things that is, that's going to be happening. Now, there's a couple of things that are going to allow the Ukrainians to land a pretty sizable force here on the western side, which is the main vector of attack. Uh, it's going to be coming in here and they will have uh, Bradleys, they'll have uh, two Leopards and one M1 Abrams, and as well as infantry support. And here on the eastern side there will be uh, a lot of smaller groups but that will have javelins and uh, anti-armor capabilities and infantry suppressing uh, abilities like having uh, machine gunners with the m240 bravos that the americans have given the, the ukrainians so they'll be coming here uh, as well so pretty much uh, you, if you take the whole look at the whole picture um, they're getting hit from every side so you guys are seeing we're still coming in here very very cool love the eyes that they have here sorry about the skin of the helicopter i did try to make it like uh, the army green but for some reason uh this mod just wouldn't let me do it after the ukrainian air force comes in here the russian m240 
I-24 helicopters will be coming in here uh, through the valleys uh, to be to attack Russian anti-air as well. Let's take a quick look at the uh, Ukrainian attack helicopters here coming in. They're getting pretty close to uh, the Russian city here and we're already seeing smoke there up in the air. Likely uh, from the uh, western side of things where Ukraine uh, has uh, already landed their land force. So you see the two Mi-24 helicopters here coming in hot uh, and they're about to start their, their attack run Very close to the Russian positions here, getting ready. Already getting shot at. Successfully able to uh, target the APC. Seven hundred meters. Five hundred. Not quite able to shoot it here from this angle. That piling. We're about to get shot down. Oh no. That's it. Here we're seeing the Su 25s coming in here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in hot. You're seeing the Russian anti-air, the Tunguskas are firing at the Su-25s. One was partially hit. You can see the smoke trail now. But they will be uh, turning around to hit the enemy yet again. Look at all that Tunguska fire. They're looking like that. Su-25 is shot out of the sky. And you guys see the little uh, pilot uh, <laughs> ejecting out of there. So if we're taking a quick look here in the map, you guys are seeing... Uh, all the uh, all of our units that are moving around here are all, all across the map and you guys are kind of seeing that there's already units here landed on the beach that are going to be infiltrating uh, that section there. Ukrainians are slowly making their way to cut off the supplies there. And it looks like the Ukrainians already have uh, successfully cut off the uh, supplies there on the west western side of things. And right now you guys are seeing uh, all the helicopters landing. See, these are the mi 8 uh, they're going to be performing these landings now. The Ukrainians will unload and get into their uh, IFVs to go attack the town. So just doing this part, guys, to uh, drop us off and have the helicopters fly away uh, was quite the achievement. Uh, I had to run this scenario uh, far too many times to my liking, but uh, in the end, it did end up working out for us. Alrighty, so we have arrived at the scene. Do you see some Russians there? 
and we're going to be trying to uh, take them out. Let's switch weapons here. There you go, we took out uh, one enemy uh, troop there. You guys see the Russian APC has been destroyed there as well. We already have uh, Ukrainian Bradleys there in position. We're going to try different uh, view modes here. Some heat signature to see if uh, we're not seeing certain things that the naked eye can't really see. And right now, I'm not seeing any uh, enemy troops in the area, which is good. So I'd have to say that the uh, looks like we already pr uh, successfully uh, took out this right here. You guys see us uh, here, and this is what I was talking about. Is that an enemy troop? And there you go. <laughs> we did end up taking out two. Uh, really hard to identify, but um, I could tell from their uniform. Uh, it was a little darker green, so we could we could tell uh, that they were not Ukrainian. It would suck to do friendly fire, and unfortunately that is one thing that you do see uh, constantly there in war. And there you guys see the dark green uniforms that come from the Russians. Alright, so uh, welcome to the town ladies and gentlemen. We have made it. We are on the outskirts of the town. You see there's two tank positions here. Um, we should probably go meet up and link up with them uh, to uh, support them there uh, as a, another objective. Uh, so let's uh, face that away and uh, face. let's uh, just uh, go and uh, help out our friendlies there. There you go, our first enemy troop there. We are lighting it up. And we do see somebody there, and it looks like it is a Russian troop. And very quickly we took him out. Not sure if he had any RPG capabilities. And he definitely does. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We got very, very lucky there with taking him out. Alright, so we are almost... We're getting closer and closer to the uh, center of... The town, so we're gonna keep pushing here on this flank. We already got a uh, Russian soldier that attempted to uh, shoot us with an RPG, so that was a very, very close encounter. Uh, definitely don't want something like that repeating here. There you go, another troop uh, taken out there. You guys are seeing uh, two Russian troops right there. We move together, and we're gonna go down this railroad. So it's just uh, just to show you on the map, we're moving down to this position here, and then we're gonna uh, hit uh, that position as well. It looks like we spotted an enemy. Not sure who we're looking at right now, so we're gonna pop over the hill here. Ready. 
Try to switch to our uh two forty machine gun here. Two more Russian soldiers taken out here. And there you go, these both both of these positions here on the eastern side have been secured. I think that uh, we can pretty comfortably say that we now control this uh, little railroad section here, which is uh, this part of the map that I was telling you guys about. Where we, we now have uh, cut off the enemy's uh, supplies here. And I believe successfully too. And uh, from now on, we can move back into the city here to uh, hit the uh, center of the town. And I'm not sure if you guys could see this, but we can see the top of his helmet just right there. Let's switch to a larger uh, burst. And it looks like that Russian is also taken out, so let's keep going, keep pushing. Just got engaged by a tank. Enemy tank. Not even sure from where. Gonna push on this beach position here. Not exactly sure where that APC was firing from. We do see that Tunguska there. Let's get a little closer. Do a visual on that Tanguska. You guys are all seeing it. That Tanguska is sitting there, nice and uh, safe, so it believes. Let's move in a little bit closer. Do you guys see one of the boats from the landing from earlier? Seen some Ukrainian troops there. Alright, now that we have solidified this position here, 
we have taken and destroyed uh, enemy positions here. We're going to be moving back in there. On the way. We're going to go support our friendly to make sure that we can capture the town. Moving past all this wreckage here, destroyed Tanguska, 